the question is, what should we do in Ashura? First of all, we need to remember that the month of Muharram, in which Ashura lies, is a sacred of one is one of the sacred months, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was never seen fasting any month after the month of Ramadan or during any month after the month of Ramadan like he would in the month or during the month of Muharram. So I just want to expand the issue a little bit more than the day of Ashura, despite its importance, but it happens to be amongst a, a very important month, which is Al-Muharram. Now, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordained the companions to fast Ashura. This was before Ramadan was made uh, mandatory and then it became only recommended. And he said, alayhi salatu wasalam, I hope from Allah Azza wa Jal that fasting that day, mean, meaning Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, will expiate the, the, the sins of the entire year before it. And this is this reflects the massive mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Such a small deed fasting for a few hours cleanses your record from the minor sins of the entire year before that this is this this reflects the love of allah azza wa jal and how he subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to facilitate our entrance into jannah now let me mention one point here can we or will we be entitled for the reward mentioned in the hadith by simply pray, uh, fasting the 10th? Yes. Because for some people fasting other than Ramadan is very tiring and exhausting and problematic. I have relatives like that. They simply can't fast other than Ramadan. So during seasons of virtue like this, Ashura or Arafah for those who are not in pilgrimage, they, they find it very difficult, but they strive hard to fast. So if you tell them, oh, fast another day with it, it becomes very difficult for them. Physical inability or whatever. So simply fasting the 10th is enough to make the person deserving of uh, the reward in the hadith. However, it is more rewarding to fast the ninth and the tenth because it will coincide with what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had planned and announced that he's planning to do if he lived, but he died before that took place. One thing that people forget is that Fasting is not the only thing that we can do. It's a virtuous season. And Muharram in totality is a season. Ashura is a season in itself with the ninth. It's, it's a focused season in the season of Muharram. So do everything good that you can do. Recite Quran, Qiyamul Layl, recite Dhikr, spend charity. If you have severed uh, ties with any of your kinfolks, Go back and, and uh, reconnect with them. Visit your parents. If your parents are alive and they're around you, then you're blessed. There are millions of Muslims who are deprived from their parents because they're simply dead. And they can't be with them. Or with one of them. There are others who live very far off from their parents. And the best they can do is just call them. Well, call them. If you used to call them once a week, call them every day in Muharram. Do every and anything that you can do that brings you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, If al khayra dahrakum, do good all your life. Why? 
because of the hadith we mentioned that you will be resurrected on the state or upon the state that you die. So if you get yourself uh, in the habit of doing good deeds all the time, different types of deeds, then inshallah, it will not fail that you will die doing something good that pleases Allah Azza wa Jalla. I hope this answers the question.